1995 and we are playing Yakuza Kiwami. Yay! Welcome everybody. Last time we uh, learned that something bad happens to Kiryu and his possible love interest Yumi, one of the hostesses at the uh, bar Serena. Before that, we have to find out what was going on before that with a bunch of fun little, uh, fun little, uh, what are they, flashbacks. And by fun, I mean I was getting actual stress over how confusing so many, so many freaking uh, flashbacks there were nesting each other. I think we're still stuck in a flashback at the moment. I'm just thrilled that this uh, takoyaki place is still here. Uh, this this was already in Yakuza 0 at this exact street corner. I guess six years later it's still working fine. I do believe we're supposed to be in the 2000s though, so this is all a bunch of prologue, I'm sure. We're gonna have some kind of time skip eventually. I believe this game was set in present day back when the game originally came out, the original Yakuza. We'll see. Who's Tamura now? Yeah, who's Tamura? Uh, oh, is he a journalist too? Spot。で、今この町で一番生きがいいのはって聞かれたもんですから、旦那のこと。Alright, good talk, my good friend Tamura and new friend Aoki. I, okay, I don't know what that was all about. So anyway, we came in... Uh, one of the things we're working on right now immediately is we collected a bunch of money we were owed from some shady firm and now we gotta bring it back to the Kazuma hideout which is here yeah Kazuma family office nothing bad will happen to this money I'm sure actually I don't know it could this could all be just a little setup <laughs> Wow, it's Shintaro Kazama, patriarch of the Kazama family. And uh, Kiryu's foster father, if I'm not completely mistaken. Oh, this guy too, Osamu Kashiwagi. He's grown his hair out since the 80s. Kazama, <laughs> Assassination. I don't know what word that could be except assassin. Wow. He said way too much. <laughs> Although I don't think it's any secret. I doubt it. みを任せる日が来るとはな。親さんがいなければ今の俺はありません。感謝しています。おい。そう固くなるな。はい。ひまわりには顔出してるのか。いえ、最近は錦も弓も行ってないみたいです。たまには行ってやれ。Oh, is from that place too? Oh. Well, that changes things. I feel like such an idiot. Was Yumi in Yakuza 0? I cannot remember that character. I know Reina was in it, uh, the proprietor of Serena. But, uh... Speaking of... Uh? Oh no, I'm not sure. 
弓を強引に連れ去ったらしいんですそれで錦が一人で弓を助けに Oh that's bad まずいな This is all bad そこに,どんな手使っに入れる人だ、right. そこに錦山が入っていったら何が起こってもおかしくね俺行ってきますよせえここでお前まで行ったら三人ともただじゃ済まねえぞここは耐えるんだせめて俺が手を回すまでお前は待て<笑> <Wow> . <laughs> Did he ever do that in Yakuza Zero? Hell no That's like <laughs> ユミとニシキは兄弟なんです俺のだから今俺が行かねえと Yeah telling Kiryu you just need to sit this one out That's just like basically telling him you gotta go take care of this yourself and complicate matters extremely. Yeah, but this is bad because Dojima is Kiryu's boss's boss, so there's not a lot he can do against the big boss in 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 the whole Yakuza hierarchy. So I don't know. And what the heck does he want with Yumi anyway? Pure pure debauchery, as Kazuma was implying. Kiryu, is something wrong? Wow, people on the street actually know Kiryu. Cool. Uh, but I don't have time to worry about that. Man, even the weather turned awful. What's this guy got shaking? Oh, Kiryu-san. Is something big going down? Nishikiyama-san ran past me like a bat out of hell just a second ago. I've never seen Nishikiyama-san looking so freaking fierce. Seemed like he was heading north. Playboy like him gotta wonder what lit a fire under his ass. Oh boy. Yeah, I do believe there was a love triangle forming between the three of them. That was what they were implying with the Yumi birthday gift quest. I think was the vibe. I'm pretty sure Nishiki also has feelings for Yumi. Same way that Kiryu seemed to. Or I don't know if Kiryu... Kiryu seems kind of clueless, a bit, bit, bit shown in protagonist on that front, but. Oh, it's the guy who we took the loan, the loan shark. <laughs> you picked a really bad time, sir. Peace finance president Hirata. He got his own little logo too. R really? It, your, your muscle is just one other guy? Ow. Let's see. Okay, wait, whoa, I grabbed the Pachinko Parlor banner. Nice range. Alright, that's Hirata down. Oh, you still want to fight, do ya? Oh! Oh my god! Wait, what the... Yikes! Just went through his guard, that move. Knock him down. Whoa! Sliding uppercut! Sure you can! That was a pretty sick fight. Well, I got the hang of it pretty quick. After, you know, a little while recording the first episode, so... D damn you! That's funny, people are just like, well, fight. Let me talk about everything but the fight. No one seemed to give a shit about this huge beatdown in the middle of Tokyo. Okay, whatever. There we go. So, yeah, I, uh... Technically, I don't think Kiryu or Nishiki can really do much without, like, you know, messing things up against Big Boss Dojima, but... Let's see... Got a bad feeling about whatever Nishiki is gonna do if he is as desperate as I think. Yumi, Nishiki. Wow, what a crummy house for the big... Like, well, not the biggest boss, but fairly high up in the Yakuza totem pole. Yikes! Oh! I... Oh my god! Oh 
何発も何発も弓弓おいしっかりしろやっちまった東照会の大幹部を弓を連れて逃げろ何言ってんだおめえこそ弓連れて逃げろお前がいなくなったら妹はどうなるんだ次の手術が最後なんだろうそんな時お前がいねえで誰がいてやるんだだからお前はここにいちゃいけねえんだでもお前は How, how did the cops know? I bet someone heard gunfire. That would be super unusual. So, yeah, okay, never mind. That makes perfect sense. Someone in the neighborhood heard the shots and called the police. Yeah. And then the cops bust in and he's incriminatingly holding the gun. Oh, no! Now, is he. Is this an accident or is he actually planning here to take the fall? I mean, this looks so deliberate. I think Kiryu's actually crazy enough to be like, I'll take it. I'll take the blame. Wow, man. Dojima was such a big part of the Yakuza 0. He didn't even get a spoken line in this game. You just have to... Wow. He is taking the fall. My God. Makoto Date, Tokyo Metropolitan Police Detective, Criminal Investigation Division. Wow, this is a smart cop. That's pretty cool. Wow, he's going so it's all. Wakagashira no Kazamani, what I stick with him as in car. Moshe Akarimas in the stat. That's so crazy that he refers to Kazam as a captain, even to a police. Wow. Wakatimas. But I guess they all know this is Yakuza stuff, so no point. No point hiding it. Yeah. Oh no, his cool haircut. That's so tragic. Uh, that, I... Oh, that's what it said. Okay. Okay. <laughs> どういうことだ。自分にも分かりません。ただ風間の親さんがこの破門状を兄貴に渡すようにと。どうじま組はどうなるんだ。風間の親さんが引き継ぐそうです。そうか。I wonder how that's gonna look. Kazama, like, getting a win. What? Oh no! Right, because she's like family to 
those two and Kiryu, I guess, if they were all in the orphanage, so... Oh, no! Well, you know, I... Ooh, first I thought that was Kiryu, who got... Forked. さ、<笑><笑> Wow, they all knew to like, yo, we gotta set the room up. Because this is coming up now. Hey. I'm surprised how sharp these forks are in this uh, prison. You'd think they'd make them like plastic forks, so stuff like this wouldn't happen. Wow, that's cool, it's just the inmate number for our opponent. Alright, come on, let's go. So I guess I shouldn't be too surprised, because like I said, I knew that the game was set in 2006, I think is the actual game set in the 2000s anyway. And I do remember that I think... Uh, I, I do remember that I think the Yakuza is supposed to open up with Kiryu leaving prison. Like, there's a that that that's where that's where the, like the main game begins. So, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised that we ended up with a setup for Kiryu ending up in prison. Wow, a double axe handle on the guy on the ground. That's a cool move. Wish I could remember how I did that. We go. Just don't give a chance to get any moves with those forks. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Throwing forks. Hey, there's no. What? What kind of magic was that? Kiwami means extreme! Okay, now I see why this meme exists. At first, I thought it was just people making fun of. The, the translation, which to me did not seem like a bad translation, but I see that's an actual phrase in the game. That's why I've seen people memeing on this online. Very good. So when a powerful enemy takes a certain amount of damage, they will enter a state of rejuvenation to recover. If Kiryu is in climax heat mode at this time, he can use the essence of Kiwami. Which, again, means extreme! Yeah! What is the essence of Kiwami? Climax heat action only usable against powerful foes. The battle style you should use depends on the opponent. Enemy rejuvenation is marked by an even stronger aura. Getting close to this enemy with the correct style will generate a Kiwami icon in the upper right corner. Oh, so we gotta read which one it's gonna be. How do I know? So I am dragon style. I, I thought the symbol wasn't dragon there though, but oh, okay. A symbol for Kiwami just slaps there, because I drove my thumbs into his ear, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's a lesson. Whoa! Thunk. Could have been a little earlier there, Mr. Security Guy. Wow. Are these the new lieutenants after we beat up the three lieutenants in Yakuza Zero? What a bunch of discount lieutenants. Kumi 
どうけじめつける気だなんと言っても桐生は頭のお気に入り Yeah, that's why it looks bad to me that he's suddenly getting a promotion 頭のお気に入りだよ錦山さあ、見てねえが、奴がどうかしたかいやせめて捕まったのがあいつだったら話もこんなにこじれねえで済んだのにって思いまして<笑>ちえげえね今からでも茶か持たせて出頭させるかだから現行犯だっつってんだろうが<笑> How ironic because you know he actually was the guy あいつ何のために組にいるんだ Oh no Oh no, Nishiki. This, this, this is gonna break his head. Oh no! He did say that, didn't he? Holy fuck! <laughs> um, I'm, I feel like I need to take like a walk or something. <laughs> Chapter 2, December 5th, 2005. Ten years gone. Okay, it's 2005, not 2006. That was pretty close. Ten years in the slammer. Oh, boy. Hey, look, everybody's got clam phones now. Hell yeah. Are they ever called clam phones in English? They're called, like, simple kapuhel in, in Finnish, but I guess they're just flip phones. In, flip phones in English, I guess. I wish those phones came back. I wish I had a flip phone. I missed that generation. I had like a Nokia 3310 or something, an old ass phone, all through the 2000s. Only now I realize what I missed out on the greatness of the flip phone. Oh. Aw, that's nice. Oh, I think that's Kazama. Yeah, it said Kazama there on the top. Yikes. Okay then. He. Oh my. God! He really went up the ranks, huh? Oh, this Futoshi Shimano. Yeah, this Wilson Fisk looking douche, douche canoe. He was also quite an annoying person in Yakuza Zero. He's still a part. Okay. This guy! Oh, that's who said. Oh, I should have remembered Sarah's name. Oh my god! Oh, Akira Nishikiyama, Patriarch of the Nishikiyama. Oh, he got it, became a Patriarch too! Oh, 
And he did something really greasy to his hair, Nishiki. <laughs> Yikes, Nishiki. その情報どうからだ。関西。五代目海連合の寺田です。この件はしっかり裏取って話すつもりだった。ふざけんな。登場会2万5000死に物狂いで書き集めた金や。100億 Yikes, that's about a hundred million dollars, give or take. That was like... <laughs> that was like two minutes. I I'd be pissed just because... I showed up there just for like a minute to <laughs> hear that a bunch of money was lost. Good, good, good heavens. Wow, Nishiki is kind of tragic, but also creepy now. Apparently, apparently that guilt he carried just made him really ramp things up. <laughs> Wait, he just got his same civilian clothes back? Wait. Now, I'm pretty sure Kiryu's still exposed, so... Yeah, I guess that's why Kazama can't meet him personally, or... That's kind of a cool angle. In a Kamurocho that has changed... It probably hasn't changed all that much, except for people having flip phones. I wonder if Tamura the informant is still in town. I'm sure he knows enough to bring me up to speed. Oh, well, that's what that guy was. Very good. Good that they established him, sort of, kind of. So, this isn't just a complete random ass pull of a character we're going to see. Maybe I can track him down. Find the information broker. It's been ten years. Who knows if the guy's even still alive? There's a guy dressed as a clown here. Is that the... the this is the rewards guy, maybe? Yeah, Bob Utsunomiya. This one's Kiwami Bob Utsunomiya. Hey, what can I do for you today? I only have one completion point. I can't get shit from here. Well, this is actually a really good thing, going faster. Wow, there's some good rewards here. <laughs> card captor, cute. Yeah, Kiryu would be into card captor, Sakura. Munadi. Novo Rish. Altered Beast. Oh, that's cute. That's a, for those not in the know, that's a classic Sega Genesis game. So, of course, that's mentioned in a Sega thing. Oh, that's really, I, 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 I that, that kind of warms my heart a little bit. That's really cute. I think it was like a, like a release game as well. Like it came packed with the Genesis, I think. Maybe. I, I'm not a hundo. If anyone listens to the podcast, the uh, last podcast on the left, their intro, intro like uh, m the music intro, they're like, they're like they're like intro like bit has a, a sound that goes rise from your grave. That's a sound effect from Altered Beast. Just FYI. Can I get items back? Do I even have any items I can pick up? Oh, you want the goods from Kiwami Bob Utsunomiya? Well, guess what I have for you. Oh, excuse me. 
Mm, these seem like... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, th I think I'll let those be. But it's for you and it's free, you know. I I'll, I'll sit on those a little bit. Those might be some kind of, like, extra DLC crazy stuff. So I'll, I'm going to let those be for now. 